All right, let's talk about what's going on up there. I mean with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Back in early June 2024, NASA's astronauts Butch Wilmer and Sunita Williams hopped on board the Starliner to head into the International Space Station for a week-long stay. This was the big test for the Starliner's capability. But things haven't exactly gone as planned. Two astronauts are waiting to find out when they can return home. Boeing Starliner's mission to the International Space Station, known as the Crew Flight Test (CFT), is a critical step in restoring American human spaceflight capabilities. After the retirement of the Space Shuttle program, NASA awarded a $4.2 billion contract to Boeing in 2014 to develop the Starliner as one of the two commercial crew vehicles along with SpaceX's Crew Dragon. The primary goal of the Starliner CFT is to certify the spacecraft. This test flight is sending NASA astronauts to the space station to demonstrate the Starliner's capability and safety, paving the way for regular crew rotation flights and replacing the reliance on the Russian Suez vehicles. So what exactly went wrong with the Starliner? First, a small helium leak was initially detected before the launch, but it was deemed acceptable and not a major safety concern. However, Four additional helium leaks were discovered once the Starliner was in orbit, which caused concern for the mission controllers. Additionally, five of the maneuvering thrusters temporarily stopped working when the Starliner approached ISS, means International Space Station. A propellant value that didn't seal up properly resulted in a loss of fuel and oxidizer, reducing mission capability. Those leaked propellant can ignite spontaneously from other hot surfaces. These issues have stopped the Starliner from safely undocking from the ISS and bringing the astronauts back home as planned. And the ingress or the entrance of Butch and Sunny coming at 2.45 p.m. Central Time. Again, their arrival to the space station today at 12.34 p.m. Central Time. Due to these technical challenges, NASA and Boeing decided to extend the Starliner's stay at the ISS beyond the initially planned 45-day limit. The new target is to keep the spacecraft docked for up to 90 days. Since the Starliner's battery seem to be holding up well. Hey, just a sec. If you have made it this far and still not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe as it motivates us to bring more such insightful videos to you. So as I was saying, now the good news is that Wilmore and Williams are doing all right up there on the ISS. NASA says they are not in any immediate danger. They have even been able to get some work done like replacing the pump and running tests on the Starliner. NASA and Boeing are being really careful in trying to fix these problems. They are doing a ton of testing on the ground to try and replicate the thrusters and the helium issues. The plan is to get the Starliner ready to bring the astronauts home safely. AI hasn't been directly involved with the Starliner's issues so far, but it could play a big role in preventing problems like this in the future. AI systems could constantly monitor spacecraft data to catch problems early, help with the mission planning and speed up the data analysis. That could go a long way towards making space travel smoother and reliable. While the Starliner's current troubles have raised concerns, this is just a temporary setback in the grand scheme of things. Space acceleration is always filled with challenges and the teams at NASA and Boeing are working hard to overcome them. And while we are at it, one person who might have some insights or even solution is Elon Musk. However, even if he wanted to step in, regulatory constraints make it impossible for him to intervene directly in the Boeing's operation, as SpaceX is one of the biggest competitors for Boeing. We don't see it as a competition. Uh, we've got two providers that are going up to the International Space Station and uh, SpaceX is up there and we're up there now as well. The successful return of Wilmore and Williams will be a crucial milestone for Starliner program, proving its resilience and paving the way for the future mission. With the help of advanced technologies like AI, the Starliner can become even more reliable and capable spacecraft. Ensuring that NASA has the transportation options as it needs to continue pushing the boundaries of human space exploration. What do you guys think? They haven't used AI because it's not capable enough to handle such a huge task yet? Comment below. This is just a hurdle, not the end of the road for the Starliner. I am confident that with the dedication and ingenuity of the teams involved, they'll get Wilmore and Williams home safely and keep the Starliner program moving forward. Thanks for watching and keep reaching for the stars. Think AI?
定给。